my channel. So today I'm doing another brow style video with this feathered look. You can see the difference here. This side is not that good. So if you're interested in seeing how I created it, then keep on watching. You guys, I'm so excited for this eyebrow right now. This feathered brow, it's like one of my favorites. So let me just start with my primer. We're gonna brush our hairs as up as possible, like messy. Like a, we wanna be a bushy baby, okay? Like a bushy brow. Keep add as, add as much primer as you need to. And just brush, 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 brush. I'm gonna take the brush off my Precisely Brow Pencil. Don't forget to prime the tails because you're gonna need these hairs to go out as well. So I'm brushing, I'm gonna let it dry for a little bit. And as it's drying, I'm just gonna brush them up even more. That looks crazy. I mean, you could just rock this brow if you wanted to, but we're gonna add a little something. So I'm all primed now. So I'm taking my Precisely Brow Pencil in the shade five, and I'm just creating more hair strokes. And my hand is very light. It's like a flick motion. So don't dig into the skin because then it's gonna be too much product and you're gonna be trying to blend it out and you're gonna mess your hairs up. So just, no, flicking. Okay, flick of the wrist. So just flick these hairs up and out. This one may take a little more time, but it'll be worth it in the end if you really just are patient and get these hairs to look feathered. I'm trying to have my eyebrow be a feather, okay? You see these hairs? They're going up. These need to go up. If you get like too much product on the skin, just brush it away. So it's starting to come together. I'm not gonna clean this up with concealer. It's just gonna be a feather look. Okay, so I'm just brushing it up still. Very, very messy. The front is what I really like to concentrate on in making sure that I'm creating those feathered hairs, but that they look like hair, so very blended. Just like so. Get these outer ones right here, in the tail, and then we will be good. And then you just set it with some brow gel. I'm gonna go in like we did in our last brow style. Map out the front where it needs to be. And just blend this product up. Up, up, up. Now I'm gonna go in with my 24 hour brow setter and just set those hairs into that feathered direction, like that. Really coat these hairs. Do not be afraid to use more product because we don't want these hairs falling back into their, like naturally our hairs would just wanna go out and down because that's usually the way that I brush them. So naturally the gravity is gonna push them that way. So we don't want that to happen. I want these up as much as possible. So really coat them. It's okay if it goes a little above your brow because your hair is going above your brow. Once you're satisfied, you will be done. It's so easy. A little tedious, but it's, it's not hard. You just have to take your time. Don't rush this brow. Don't give yourself more work than you have to with the blending. and I'm happy with it. My bushy brow is ready to go. Look at the difference. You see that? It's like a different person, but it almost gives you like a lift because everyone's gonna be looking up because you're bringing their eye up. So it's like maybe a little like youthful, you know? I mean, kids' brows are like messy. We don't groom our brows, so I'm feeling it. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you decide to try this brow out. I think it looks great on everyone. Don't forget to subscribe down below, give me a thumbs up, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.